about some of the action, let's jump over to our man, Basil Chapman. Folks, you can check out Basil's Tiger Technician's Hour every trading day, 10 a.m. Eastern time. And, of course, don't forget about his outstanding newsletter, the opening call. You head on over to the front page of TFNN. You click on the newsletter tab. You click on the opening call. You can sign up. And remember, folks, every newsletter we have, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So try out the letter. No harm, no foul. If you don't enjoy it, if it's something that you're not going to trade with, it maybe it just doesn't fit your style, you cancel it. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can sign up for a month for $149. Six months for $695. You save $199 off the monthly price, or you go for the year. And as I mentioned, all of those, if you're planning on keeping it, maybe check out one of the longer subscriptions because you still get a 30-day full money-back guarantee for the six month of the year. And he just did an outstanding webinar in December that's there. He sends out emails uh, with videos every weekend, pretty much, talking about uh, what is going on in the market. And let's talk about it right now. Basil Chapman, what's happening? Hi, Tommy. How are you? Good to talk to you, man. I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. So, well, I'm interested, Basil, because, of course, I listen to your show all the time. You're right after mine in the morning, but I haven't got to talk to you in a little while. And um, I listen to you when you're on with my dad, of course. But but I'm looking forward to this conversation, seeing where we are. Pretty interesting point in the market, quite a day for the market, uh, some winners and losers. But what are you looking at out here, Basil? So I thought I'd speak towards what, what we're doing for my subscribers in my opening call. So uh, we went short the Dow actually about five, six sessions ago, within about 50 points of the all-time high, even though Friday uh, it made a new all-time high, it was just fractional, it went to 37,825. And one of the reasons is we actually have core long positions. This is just a trading position. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how long it's going to last until I, get, I can get a real good clue this Friday, because the nine period moving average is something I've used for a while. I may as well do that right now. Um, the nine period moving average, this little green line here on the daily chart, the daily on the left, in the, in the middle is the weekly, and the Dow uh, on the right is the monthly. And this little square here is the 120 minute chart. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always trying to identify the low bar, count each successively higher peak. When it gets to uh, the fourth highest peak, peak D, that's when other things can happen. It's a D or E that you already expect. That that's maybe where you're going to get a sharp pullback. So you can see in the 120-minute uh, chart, I'll just make it bigger so you can see right here. This is the 120-minute chart. It went, it made this kind of double top, and it went to a peak E. Um, and then it, it was on Friday. Now it's been pulling back. And you can see the technicals, the MACD is weak, the stochastic is somewhat weak. Nine period moving average just went under the uh, 14. So the, the 120 minute chart on a very short term basis is, is in a sell mode. The daily chart hasn't even really given a sell signal yet. But if I do a measurement of this vertical line where the peak D was at 37,790 on the 2nd of January, and on the 12th of January, it went to 37,825. You can see, except for this green line, the nine period moving average, which I call the, the um, my tool of last resort. This is the one, you know, like the Fed is supposed to be the basically the bank of last resort for the United States. So this is the, my, for me, it's the tool of last resort because look, it's still holding well, but that MACD has turned down sharply. The stochastic is now under 80% of 70%. On balance volume has it had a, a, not a big pullback, but it's pulling back. So, and that's the daily chart. But the weekly chart, because it made a fractional new high last week, this week, if it doesn't go above 37,825, it finally makes a peak, and I'm calling this a peak A, right here in the daily chart, in the weekly chart. And that's quite exceptional because uh, the SMB is already in leg B. And uh, the SMH is the same thing. So this is going to be very important what happens this coming week for the Dow. But as you said, there are different things happening um, simultaneously. And what's interesting for subscribers is that we have this stock, this uranium stock, which we bought at $3.64. And today it hit 8.29. And I did this I, for about a week or two. I've been doing this and showing on my show during the Tiger Technicians Hour, which I'll do. I'll show again tomorrow at 10 o'clock how these uranium stocks have been breaking to multi-decade highs. I mean, 2011, it was My at goodness, 748. Look at that. Yeah, that, yeah. 
And now look at this. It made a new uh, a new high at 829 today. So something is going on there. And the other stock that we have that is also just not even interested in what's going on in the general market is Microsoft. So we bought it at 338 uh, some time ago. You can see right over there. Um, it's been rallying very sharply. I think it's getting somewhat overbought. You can see by the red candle. But it made a new all-time high and at 394.03 uh, this morning. And it just tells you about what's going on in this market. It is not even bifurcated. It's like it's trifurcated because you've got the Russell 2000 very weak. Those small caps are just not doing very well. And then within this, you've got the SMHs, which I, I must uh, actually confess that we are short and we've done very nicely on the short side on the SMHs. We try, did try to add this morning and lost a little bit. But I'm waiting for the SMHs, the semiconductors, to actually start to pull back. If they pull back, I always say that where the, where the semiconductors go, that's generally where the market's going to go. So, so far, at a new all-time high today, I can't ignore that. Um, I'm watching it very closely. But as I, I, I've told your father when we've spoken together, I said, you know, for me, the chips are like the oil stocks, the oil sector of the 1900s going into the 2000s. Now you've got the chips were basically the oil of the 21st century. Everything now has chips. In fact, chips also probably have a little bit of oil, but it's very interesting. So that's why I think it's really important to monitor them. But as it stands right now, um, I think we're in this consolidation phase. It can go on a little longer. But those weekly charts, and I'll just show you quickly if you have a moment. Look, here's of the course. S&P. S&P leg B. I can't call it anything but that right now. That's very positive because in the Chapman wave, as I said, should go to at least four higher peaks if it's in a buy mode. And with a stochastic at 92% and the MACD strong, nine period over the 14, this is very strong. So this is over a period of, and it'll take a lot of weeks to get to that leg D. So, so far, that's a positive. If you look at the QQQ, <clears throat> the, the triple Q is really the NDX 100. I've got it at a peak B, but it could very easily go to a C just by going over the last high, which was at 412.92. So all of this is saying to me, in a consolidation phase right now, got to be very select. We're trying to be as select as possible. But at the same time, what's working seems to continue to work. And what's not working, as you saw in like a, a Boeing, et cetera, some of those stocks just, they've been hammered to the downside. And yet the market's pretty resilient. It's a great wrap up, Basil. I appreciate all the info. I was jumping around as you were talking about it. NVIDIA, right? Up another 2.7%. You were talking those chip right. stocks. Basil, we appreciate it as always, man. I look forward to the program tomorrow and have a great night, man. You too. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks so much. Folks, we're coming back with Tim Ward. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks.